uh, of SEO. Okay, I see this post all the time in every marketing expert Facebook group. Uh, and if you are a marketing expert, you are someone who is expert at helping people get clients. Okay, so I see this particular post in every marketing expert Facebook group, and it is this. It boils down to basically this. Hey guys, how do I get clients? Okay. Uh, that is the strangest post to see in a marketing expert Facebook group. In any gathering of marketing experts, this is the strangest post to see. How do I get clients? In other words, how do I market myself? How do I get clients? I see this. So, I mean, there's so many different ways to ask it. Okay. And people, people will do the strangest things to avoid doing the actual work that will bring you clients. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you my exact strategy. I'm going to show you exactly how I sign SEO clients more than I can take on more than I can handle without advertising, without maybe without even marketing. Okay. As you may think of marketing, if you just stay to the end of this video, it's going to be a short video. Really. I'm just practicing live streaming for the first time. I want to see how it works. Okay. Um, live streaming to YouTube. I live stream to Facebook all the time. You should join my personal Facebook, uh, which is linked below in the description and you'll get a bunch of these marketing nuggets from me. Okay. So, we're going to discuss, I'm going to discuss some things that you may be doing wrong, some things that you may be doing right. And then I'm just going to give you flat out my entire sales process, my entire marketing to sales process, how I take total strangers and turn them into $2,600 per month clients. Okay. Without doing any advertising. <laughs> so first let's get started. Okay. Like I said, I see this post all the time. Uh, how do I get clients in every SEO Facebook group? And so my first item on the agenda is just how to sell SEO. Okay. And the first thing I want to tell you is that what everyone else is telling you to do is wrong. And it is this, my city SEO. Okay. Let's, I'm someone that's in the trenches. I actually make money doing this. Okay. I make money every month more than I can spend by selling SEO to people, by putting people on page one of Google. Okay, I'm someone that's in the trenches. I'm not a guru. I'm making this video. It's going to benefit me. Not at all. I'm just helping people who do what I do because I see y'all struggling month after month. Some people I see in the Facebook groups making this same post every year. Some of you have been in this, game as long as I have. We started at the same time, you know, and I've seen you make this same post multiple times a year since 2014, 2013. How do I get clients? You know, it boils down to that. You're asking, how do I get clients? Okay. And in the beginning, we were all taught to rank for my city SEO. Okay. Like I live in Houston. Um, I don't think I even have, I even rank for Houston SEO. If you went and saw, did a Google search for Houston SEO or Houston SEO expert, you wouldn't see me. Okay. You wouldn't see me on the rankings. I don't rank for Houston SEO. Okay. One reason I don't is because those are the worst leads. The worst leads ever are people that go to Google and search for, Detroit SEO, Detroit SEO expert. Okay. Why, why are those the worst leads? Because the reason they searched, the reason they went and looked for a keyword. Okay. The reason they went and looked for a keyword is because they don't know anybody. In other words, they don't know you. So they're calling a complete stranger who they don't know, like, or trust so they can get a quick price quote from you and then call the next complete stranger in these search results. You don't want to be a complete stranger. Okay. You don't want to rank for complete stranger that you don't know, like, and trust who does SEO. That's stupid. 
Do not waste your damn time ranking for my city SEO. It's a complete waste of time. Okay. Second, you're not going to outrank cotton grammar. You know, when I started, I, I decided I was only going to work with lawyers. Okay. I didn't have a lot of money. I had zero dollars when I started. Okay. I couldn't spend five to ten thousand dollars a month trying to outrank cotton grammar and that dude over in Miami, the other guy, Ryan Stewart, for a lawyer SEO expert. Okay. I couldn't, I didn't have the time to do that. I had to figure out how can I get clients right now? I can't spend nine to 13 months trying to get to page one at $3,000 a month for lawyer SEO. So I can be a complete stranger to whoever runs that search. It's just ridiculous. Stop trying to rank for my city SEO. It's a complete myth. I don't know why. The reason they teach us that is because they're trying to teach us to rank something. They're trying to teach us how to do SEO. And so why not rank your own site for your own city? They're teaching us that to learn the basics of how to rank a website. They're not teaching us that because that's a good way to generate paying clients. So rule number one, all right, before we get to rule number one, just stop trying to rank for my city SEO. It's a complete myth. Um, I'm working on an agenda here. You may see me looking off camera because I'm reading my agenda. Okay. So rule number one, niche down. Okay. Do yourself a freaking favor. Choose one type of client to work with. It was an easy stretch for me because I used to be a practicing lawyer. I'm still a licensed attorney. There is my license right there. Still a licensed attorney. It was easy to me to say, I'm only going to work with attorneys. Why? Why was that easy? Because I already had that network built. I could just send an email, a text message, and a Facebook message to all of my law school friends, ask them if they want help with their marketing. Okay. Uh, niche down, your life will be easier. Choose one type of client to work with, two at the most. All of your PBN buying will be easy. Okay. All of your, I, every time I get a new lawyer, I have a list of 100 lawyer backlinks, whether they're lawyer, Profiles, online lawyer profiles like Avo, Fine Law. You know, I have all those because every one of my clients gets the same one. Every new client, just I hand it off to my VA, go build these backlinks for this client. The same way you did for the last 20 clients, build these same backlinks for this client. He'll be on page one shortly. Secondly, I have PBNs that are on page one in every city of the United States. Any lawyer anywhere calls me. They're like, hey, I'm in North Dakota. I do DWI. Oh, you want me to put you on page one tomorrow? Because here's a PBN that already ranks for that. Why? Because I've been doing lawyer marketing for so long. I've already built that infrastructure. It's just easy. Okay. It's less work. Niche down. Uh, also, get on YouTube and do a YouTube search for Sam ovens. Okay. Sam ovens. He goes into a lot of the benefits of niching down. Uh, best decision I ever made. When I first started, I was working with plastic surgeons, real estate agents, uh, short term rental people, uh, home stagers. The best decision I ever made was to get rid of all of them and only work with lawyers because I already had the rankings. I already had the infrastructure. Okay. But there is a better reason to niche down, and it is that you can own the space. I'm never going to be known as the best SEO expert in the world. I could possibly be known as the best lawyer SEO expert. Go to Google right now and Google lawyer Facebook ads. That was very easy for me to rank for. Um, I could also be known as maybe not the best lawyer SEO, it was real easy to be known as the best lawyer Facebook ad person. What if, I, you know, do I need lawyers all over the country? Are there enough lawyers just in Texas to build me a comfortable income every month? Yes, I could easily become known as the best lawyer marketing expert in Texas. Okay, you, you, you know, lawyers may not be a good fit for you. Maybe you could go into the plastic surgeon niche. Maybe you could go into the roofing niche. You know, there were all kinds of niches. 
look at, examine your own life examine your own life history, you resonate with somebody and it's natural. Like maybe you were a nurse before you started doing SEO. It's easy for you to go into medical space. That's a no brainer. There is something no brainer ish that you could easily niche down to and you need to do that. Maybe you're a soccer mom and you could work with physical trainers because of your soccer stuff. I don't know. There's some, there's some niche for you that is a no brainer that if you talk to anyone like me, they would have no idea why you're not just working with those freaking people. Okay. It's obvious. It's the obvious thing. Niche down, only work with those people. Everything is easier. Selling SEO becomes infinitely easier when you only work with one type of client. Getting to $10,000 a month, $30,000 a month, $50,000 a month becomes infinitely easier when you only work with one type of client, okay? The other advantage of only working with one type of client is now you know the exact type of content to write uh, in your marketing material. You know, you know, I know exactly the pain that lawyers go through, okay? Why? Because I used to be an attorney, I knew how crappy it was to try to hire you digital marketing experts who don't know crap about digital marketing. Okay. Also, because I only work with attorneys, I hear the same story over and over again, the same damn story. I can repeat that story to any potential client and they resonate it because they're living it too. How do I know that stuff? I'm not psychic. It's that I only work with one type of client and they all have the same experience and they all tell the same story and I can, there's this principle. If you can clearly define the problem, if you can clearly define the problem, then they will believe that you have the solution. If you can clearly define the problem somebody is having, they automatically believe that you have the solution. I can clearly define as if I'm psychic. Okay. As if I'm a dang crystal ball fortune teller, I can clearly define the problem every lawyer is having vis-a-vis -vis marketing. Because I can do that, they all think I have the solution. Okay. It makes it super easy to generate trust, uh, to make them like you, uh, know, like, and trust. So it's very easy to sell them when they believe I have the solution. I can do that because I niched down. If I had to learn every plumber's problem, every real estate agent's problem, every daycare facility's problem, every roofing company's problem, it would be infinitely harder to do than just niching down. I mean, five clients is $10,000 a month. Okay. Uh, 10 clients is $20,000 a month. 15 clients is 30. How much money do you freaking need? You're trying to go after every possible business. How much money do you need? Just niche down, own the space and build up some dough. Okay. Um, another advantage to niching down. Okay. If I were to tell you, go find people who need SEO, that's a tough task. That's a hard thing to do. But if I were to tell you, go find plastic surgeons who need SEO, is it easy for you to find where plastic surgeons hang out online? You could just go on LinkedIn, and friend every plastic surgeon on LinkedIn. It's easy. Okay. If you niche down, you now know where to find your clients. Okay. Instead of trying to look for everyone, you're looking for dentist. You can easily go on LinkedIn, do a LinkedIn search on dentists and then friend every dentist. You can go on Facebook, look at dentist Facebook groups, click on members and then friend everyone that's a member in that dentist Facebook group. Yeah. A lot of you, this is all explained how to do this on my blog, DustinSanchezTV.com. Go read every blog article I've ever written. Okay. The point of niching down is now you know what content to write that will resonate with your clients you know where to find them and now you can build an audience. You don't have to wait for people to come to you. You can get a bunch of, I have nearly 200 lawyers in a Facebook group. All right. And I post in that Facebook group. It's only attorneys in the Facebook group. You have to show me your bar license to get in. 
I generate a ton of money from that group every month. Okay. There's no marketing. I just go on there and post. And then those people contact me. They come to me, build an audience. Okay. Build an audience. You can build an audience if you niche down. Why? Because you can own the space if you niche down because you know what content to create if you niche down, because if you niche down, you know, your potential clients exact problem. If you know their exact problem, they believe you have the solution. If you know the exact client you're looking for, now you know where to go find a bunch of them because people congregate in groups online. Now, uh, if you know where to find them, you can build an audience. You can friend them. You can make contacts with them. You can get them in a Facebook group. You can get them on an email list. Okay. Geez. OP. Let's go to rule number two. So how to sell SEO. Number one, my city SEO is a freaking myth. Stop trying to rank for my city SEO. Okay. Rule number one. I mean, that's not even a rule. I guess that's rule number zero. My city SEO is a freaking myth. Rule number one, niche down, niche the freak down, dude. Rule number two. Okay. Get really freaking good at this. Okay. Not good at SEO. Not get good at marketing, get good at using the internet to help local businesses generate client. The reason you're asking this question right now is because you have no freaking idea how to help local businesses generate clients. And the fact that you have no freaking idea, how to help local businesses generate clients means you should not be charging anybody money to do anything related to marketing. Why? Because you haven't done your damn homework. Okay. I got all these books here. I'm just going to show them to you. All right. hundred dollar startup, virtual freedom, perennial seller, content mavericks, Zuck, marketing rebellion, Talk triggers, Lynch can, power phone scripts. Trust me, I'm lying. That's a good one. Trust me, I'm lying. Odd Man Dito, the greatest salesman in the world. Growth Hacker Marketing, Ryan Holiday. Expert Secrets, Russell Brunson. Seth Godin, this is marketing. I don't really like anything by Seth Godin, but I read it. Why? Because I'm a student of freaking marketing. The million dollar one person business. One million followers. The 22 immutable laws of marketing. What is this? How to make millions with your ideas. This is freaking excellent. Marketing, a love story. Seth Godin, all marketers tell stories. Like I said, I don't like anything this dude puts out. It's all fluff. It's very unactionable, but I read it. Why? Because principles, you learn the principles, you can use any tactic. Okay. Influence the psychology of persuasion. Traffic secrets. This one's huge. This one is freaking huge. This is probably the one book that's like, you really have trouble getting clients right now. Go buy this book, apply what's in there. You're going to get clients but I'm about to give you the exact what I do to get clients. Okay. So stay with me till the end of this video from poop to gold, the marketing magic of the Harmon brothers. Very interesting book. You really should get this one too. That's not, that's just some of my hard copy books from this year. That's not including my audible. Maybe I can show you my audible. Let's see. Let's, let's just show the audible. All right, what do we got here? Let me just turn this off. Skin in the game. Uh, the hero's two journeys. That's about content, Mark. Seven day startup, free. The future of radical price. Geez, oh, Pete, you gotta read this book free. The future is faster than you think. Uh, okay, my point is this. You haven't done your dang homework. I know you haven't done your dang homework. How do I know? because you don't know how to market. If you knew how to market, if you knew marketing, you wouldn't be in this Facebook group posting these freaking uh, 
how do I market myself? Okay. How do I market myself? That's what you're asking. The reason you're asking that is because you don't know marketing, right? And you're giving people like me a bad name. You need to go do your damn homework. You need to go, go get really freaking good at marketing. Okay. Get really freaking good at this. Okay. Not SEO. Don't get good at SEO. Get good at helping local businesses get clients. Get good at helping yourself get clients. Okay. How do you do that? You read blogs, you watch YouTubes, you read books, you soak it all in, you practice it. Okay. You buy books on audible, you study marketing. Okay. That's how you get good at marketing. You study marketing. You, you're under this impression that all you had to do was take a $7,000 SEO course and suddenly you're a marketing expert. Uh, you're not. You're not a marketing expert. You barely can rank a website. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm getting, I'm, I'm starting to get a little mean. Okay. I didn't mean to get mean on you guys. Um, frustrates me because nobody's teaching this. Nobody's teaching what I'm telling you right now. They're selling the dream, the sizzle. They're selling the $50,000 a month lifestyle. They're not really telling you the work that you need to do to get it. Okay. So, Rule number three. Okay, remember that I told you, remember that I told you my city SEO is a myth. Don't freaking rank for my city SEO. This is the number one thing that has helped me get clients and continues to help me get clients. Okay. Create blog posts, create videos. Don't worry about ranking yourself. Don't build a freaking single backlink to your website. Okay. Um, maybe citations, whatever. Spend your time, spend your life energy creating content that helps people. Okay. Uh, you go to my website. I'm just going to do that right now. Let's, let's go. Well, let's go to my YouTube channel. Okay. All right. This is my YouTube channel. See, when I started out, I had to figure what am I going to do? Outrank uh, Ryan Stewart. Am I going to outrank cotton grammar? Am I going to outrank Greg Morrison? You know, I've been in this game for two months. Am I going to outrank these guys? No. So what did I do? I just started making videos. Why? Because I go to where the least competition is. Everybody, you know, is afraid to get in front of a camera. Okay. Everyone, you know, is afraid to get in front of a camera because I'm here making content for attorneys in front of a camera. I stand out. It was a hack. It was a growth hack. I was able to do what Cotton wasn't willing to do. Cotton wasn't willing to make a YouTube channel, uh, pour his lifeblood into it. I was. And so I was able to steal a tiny bit of market share from Cotton. Well, guess what? Cotton makes, you know, $500,000 a month. So steal a tiny market share from Cotton is a great living. It's a damn good living. Uh, okay. Steal a tiny bit of market share from Ryan Stewart. It's a great living. It's more money than you need. Um, so here's the big secret I want to tell you guys. Every time, every time I see this post in, in the Facebook group, how do I get clients? The first thing I do is I go to that person's website. There's no blog articles. If they are, they're crap. They're crap blog articles. They're general. They're written for nobody. They're written for everybody. If they're written for everybody, they're written for nobody. Then I go to that person's YouTube channel. There's one, uh, you know, drawing board explainer video. Uh, there's no, you don't have the freaking sack to make your own videos. So you hired someone on Fiverr. You paid $5 for a drawing board, whiteboard explaining explainer video. Do you think that's how we get clients? Do you think that's the key to a $50,000 a month business? A whiteboard explainer video that you got $5 on Fiverr by someone sitting in Bangladesh? Is, is that how you thought you were going to build a business because you're living in a dream world? Okay. So I go to your blog. There's no blogs. I go to your YouTube channel. There's no YouTube videos. I go to your Facebook. There's no Facebook posting. I go to your LinkedIn. You are not demonstrating expertise. You're not giving anybody a reason to hire you. Okay. Take a month, take a year, learn your niche down, Learn whatever problem the person that you niched down has. Learn that problem. Write blog articles about how to solve that problem. Just like 
my YouTube channel. Okay, let me show it in the stream. Uh, here we go. L let me just let you watch this YouTube video. Don't forget, stay with me. I'm going to show you my exact process. Okay, so what this is, one, it's not a business minute. It's an attorney business minute that grabs the attention of attorneys, okay? Uh, if you tell a doc, you tell a plastic surgeon, here's a business tip. But if you say, here's a plastic surgeon business tip, here's a chiropractor specific business tip, a, a business problem that all chiropractors have, you know, that's going to grab someone's attention. Secondly, this is a YouTube video about the fact that attorney receptionists never ask for the sale. Okay. An incoming caller calls looking for an, a, a lawyer to hire to represent them. And the receptionist answers the phone and never asks for the sale, never tries to close the client. How do I know that? Because I talk to attorneys all the time. I know the sales problem they have. How do I know the sales problems that attorneys have. How did I know to make this video? How did I know that this video would generate like, no like, and trust? How did I know this would, this video, specific YouTube video would make lawyers know, like, and trust me and want to give me their dang money. I knew that because I niched down. I learned my potential clients. Okay. You have not done that. That is why you can't find clients right now. So, Back to this rule, create blogs, create videos. Every blog article you write should have a video. Let me show you how I do it. Okay, let's go to my, I'm just gonna go to justinsanchezTV.com. I haven't blogged in a while, but I have more clients than I can handle because two, three, four years ago, I went on blogging spree, okay? And that continues to generate clients for me even to this day. Let's see, let me bring this in. All right, I'm just looking through my blog on the, okay, here's a good one. Let's show this in stream. Let's go top, this is a blog article I wrote. When did I write it? February. I don't know what year. Sometime in February, maybe 2019 or so. In any case, it's top 10 rules of lawyer SEO written for lawyers. Okay. Talks about problems that lawyers specifically have. If you keep scrolling, you see there's a YouTube video there. Keep scrolling. Here's more YouTube videos. You keep scrolling. Here's another YouTube video. Why do I use video? Okay, why do I put an accompanying YouTube video in nearly every blog article? Okay, the reason is because people give money to people they know, like, and trust. The easiest way to build know, like, and trust on the internet is via video. Right now, you're watching this video and you automatically think I know what I'm talking about just because I'm the only one here talking. Okay. It's the bully pulpit. You're, 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 you hate me because some of the shit I say is kind of whack. You love me because some of the shit I say is kind of whack. You are beginning to know, like, and trust me because you and I are building a relationship. Okay. We're looking each other in the eyes. You're watching me. You're getting to know me. The reason no one's giving you any money is because no one knows you. No one likes you and no one trusts you. Now that you know that it's easy, that's a very easy problem to solve. You, you don't need a lot of people to like you. You don't need a lot of people to know you. Literally since 2014, I've probably only closed 40 sales, but what is today? 
2014, 15, 16, 17, 2018, 2019, 2020. Okay, so in seven years, I've only closed 40 sales. Okay, how many is that per year? Uh, four is divided by seven. That's five new clients per year on average. Okay, um, what does that equate to? when those clients pay you 2000 plus dollars every month and they never leave because they don't, they're just happy. They're just making money. That equates to a ton of money every month and you only have to sell every now and then. What I'm trying to tell you is this, you don't have to sell a bunch of people. You don't have to become famous. You just have to become known to a few of the right people. If 10 people knew you, 10 chiropractors knew that you were the chiropractor marketing expert, you would have a $20,000 a month business. Okay. That would probably be, probably be life changing for you. Very easy to go on LinkedIn, do a Google search for San Diego chiropractor, do a LinkedIn search for San Diego chiropractor. Okay. San Diego chiropractor, go do a LinkedIn search for that and just spend an hour every day, friending every San Diego chiropractor that comes up. All right. That's step one. You're building an audience. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about is build an audience. This is how you build an audience. Okay. Then step two would be start making videos on your YouTube channel. Post those videos to LinkedIn. Okay. Why? Because your LinkedIn is only what, what people do is they go friend a bunch of marketers, a bunch of SEO experts on LinkedIn. Well, what good is that going to do you? I don't let any non attorney friend me on LinkedIn. I only want attorneys on my LinkedIn. Why? Because I have 10,000 plus attorneys on my LinkedIn. And every time I post anything on my LinkedIn, a ton of them see it. And then they message me or they call me and they want me to hire it. They want to hire me. Okay. Niche down because it's easier to build an audience. Create videos and blog articles because that's, the easiest way for people to know, like, and trust you. All right. Then again, I have not just build an audience, but build a freaking audience. What does that mean? Uh, let me show you here. Let's go to, this is, I'm going to pull this into the screen now. And what you can see is the help one thousand lawyers facebook group this is a facebook group that i own my va will only let licensed practicing attorneys into this group uh what do i have uh how many members not 135 members uh that's one of my list 135 of my exact clients and then what do i do i just go post stuff all the time people see it they message me. They want to hire me. Okay. You go to my LinkedIn. I have a list. Let's go to my LinkedIn. Okay. Here, let me do that. LinkedIn.com. Okay. We're going to my LinkedIn. And what is this all about? This is all about build a freaking audience. Okay. Build a freaking audience. Build. Don't wait for your clients to come to you. Don't wait for someone to go to Google and search Michigan SEO expert where they can find a complete stranger and then go price shop you amongst the other people who rank for Michigan SEO expert. Instead of doing that, get off your Botox and go actively start liking people on LinkedIn. Let me just show you. Let's go to my network. Can I make this bigger? I'm going to make this bigger. Cause I want you to see what's going on here. I'm going to click on my network. Eleven thousand nine hundred and twelve attorneys from all over the country in my network. Now let's go look at some of my posts. Okay. View profile. Let me, let me turn this off. Let's just look at some of my posts, man. LinkedIn is one of the only platforms, social media platforms that still offers organic reach. If you're not 
on LinkedIn, it means you don't know anything about marketing right now. Okay. Uh, you need to be on LinkedIn because you can easily go friend every chiropractor in your state. And then everything you post, you can post chiropractor specific stuff the same way I do. And all those chiropractors are going to see it. Suddenly you become an expert because you're talking about chiropractor problems to chiropractors. Suddenly chiropractors know, like, and trust you. Suddenly chiropractors want to give you money. Okay. Let's go look at some of my post views. Uh, try to show you some interesting ones. Personal injury lawyer online marketing guide. 460 views of your post in the feed. Now, more than likely, 400 of those people were attorneys. Okay. Uh, SEO is for suckers. 400 views. Uh, little funny image I wrote about how I'm the best lawyer marketing expert. All right. 832 views, all attorneys. Okay. Little post I made about just a post I made 1700 views, all lawyers. Okay. Why? How do I know those are all lawyers? Because I don't accept any other friend requests on LinkedIn. You can't become a connection of mine unless you are a lawyer. Why? Because I'm protecting this list. This is a curated list of my potential clients. Okay. How's that job security treating you now? How's playing it safe treating you now? How is the well-beaten path treating you now? How is that diploma on the wall sitting in a $300 frame treating you now? Okay. 2,457 views, all attorneys. My quarantine story. My income has spiked during this thing. Money is an illusion. It's not that important. Sometimes it helps you sleep at night. Point is I'm not money hungry, greedy McGreederson. Okay. That thing, 1800 views, all attorneys. My point is build an audience. Don't wait for them to come to you. You got social media, you got Facebook, you got LinkedIn, you even got Instagram, you got certainly YouTube. So easy to just every day devote a little time to getting people into your Facebook group, getting people uh, into your LinkedIn friend network. Um, Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. I'm going to hide this. So I'm about to tell you my whole sales process, everything I do, the exact strategy, tactics, steps I do, uh, to sell SEO. Before I do that, <clears throat> I want to say make videos for your audience. I don't know why that, Oh, there we go. You have to scroll, make videos for your audience. Right now, a lot of you are watching this. Suddenly you like me, you trust me. You think I'm an expert. Why? Cause you're watching me on video. That's the power of video. I don't know why it works. We just believe people that sit there and talk to us on a camera, know what they're talking about. You're saying to yourself, Dustin, I'm too fat. I'm too old. I'm too ugly. I'm too black. I'm too white. I'm too brown. I'm too skinny. I'm too pretty. I, I can't do video. Okay. You're making every damn excuse why you can't do video. Okay. If that's, I deal with bigger problems than that on my way to breakfast, walking from my bed to the kitchen on a random Tuesday. If that's your biggest problem, maybe you're not cut out for this. Maybe you're not an entrepreneur. Okay. If, if, if the reason you can't make money right now is because you are afraid to make videos, maybe you're not cut out for this. Consider that. Okay. Now let's get to this, my entire sales process. Okay. What you've all been waiting for. Um, what do I do? Do I rank for Houston SEO expert? Is that what I do? Uh, let me just bring my website in. I'm going to bring my website in, tell you my entire process once and for all. So all of you can implement this. Okay. Let's just go. I'm going to go to my blog. And maybe I'll, maybe I'll go to my first blog article ever. Uh, can I do that? Back in the day when I first started, I'm like, how do I get clients? I'm not going to outrank Cotton Grammar and Greg Morrison for lawyer SEO expert. I'm not going to outrank Ryan Stewart 
or lawyer SEO expert, what if I just identified, what if I just niched down? Okay. Who could I possibly, well, who would be a good client for me? Lawyers? I don't know. I'm a lawyer. Maybe I should work with lawyers. Okay. I niched down. Then I said, what if I identified the exact problems that lawyers are having? Okay. Here's a good one. What if I identified the exact problems that lawyers are having? And then I wrote a blog article about that problem and I made a video about that problem. Well, here's one of my first blog articles ever paid avo profile versus free avo profile. Okay. For some of you don't know, but one online profile, just like fine law or justia, or even like Yelp, it's just a Yelp for lawyers. It's called avo. How did I know that? Well, because I'm a lawyer and I know some of the marketing things lawyers do. Also, I decided to go learn what problems lawyers have. Well, a lot of times they purchase a paid AVO listing. Okay. It gives them zero return on their investment, but they don't know what else to do in marketing. So they pe purchase a paid AVO listing. They get zero return on their investment for six months. When the reality is the only value of an AVO listing is for the backlink. You can get the backlink for free with a free listing. So, that's what I discuss in this video. It resonates with every attorney that hears it because they all have the same problem. Then what did I do? I went on to Facebook, my own personal Facebook. Let's do that. Let's do that right now. Went on my own first personal Facebook and I just started friending attorneys on my own personal Facebook. Let me show you what that looks like. Attorney, attorney, attorney. Attorney, 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 uh, uh, attorney, 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 yeah, attorney. I just started a friending attorneys on my own personal Facebook, the same way you can go friend chiropractors on your own personal Facebook, the same way you can go friend anybody on your own personal Facebook. Okay. Uh, and then I started posting those videos to Facebook. I started posting those blog blog articles to Facebook with a catchy headline. Okay. That would appeal to lawyers that would make lawyers think I was an expert. And then I, and then every week I would write a new blog article and make a new video to accompany that blog article. Go look at my blog. Okay. Look at how I do this. Um, then I would go to LinkedIn. I actually paid a virtual assistant to log into my LinkedIn and friend attorneys the same way you can pay a virtual assistant to log into your LinkedIn and friend plastic surgeons, friend whoever you resonate with. Okay. And then I started posting that same content to LinkedIn, building my own audience, building my own list, not trying to, not trying to rank my website and then waiting and praying and hoping that clients come to me instead going out and getting clients and showing them that I was an expert with my videos and my blog articles, clearly defining the exact problem they were all having. And then they thought because I was able to do that, they automatically think that I know the solution. Okay. So what happens? All of this content distributed on social media, it drives them where? It drives them to my website, justinsantestv.com. Okay. Where does that, all that content drive them to? It drives them to my contact page, basically, you know, contact us. Any, all of these articles have a call to action in them, which basically drives them to my contact page. They go to my contact page. Okay. Everything's loading slower because I'm streaming, but they go to my contact page. Step one, use the contact form below to email me. Step two, someone from my team will reach out to you to schedule a phone call. Okay. Step three, one thing you need to know. I will charge you 
$400 for a 30 minute marketing consultation phone call. Why? How can I do that? How can I charge $800 an hour for you just to talk to me, just to ask me how much it's going to cost for you to work with me? How can I charge $800 an hour? The reason I can do that is because you've spent three, four, five hours watching me on YouTube, watching me demonstrate expertise on YouTube. And now you are dying to work with me because I have clearly defined the exact problem you're having and you know I'm the guy. So you have no problem paying me a completely non-refundable $400 just so I can give you a price quote over the phone. Okay. That's the power of video. That's the power of content. Would they, would a complete stranger who searched Houston SEO and found me on page one, give me $400 for a phone call or would they just price price shop me to the next 10 SEOs on page one? What do I say? This is a non-refundable deposit which protects both of our extremely valuable time. Okay. Go read my contact form, get to where you can do this. What allows you to get to this point in life content, demonstrating expertise on video and on blog articles and on social media. So what happens? They basically email me on this contact form. They say, Hey, I want to work with you. When they say that, when I get that email, my virtual assistant replies with a standard template. Hey, Jennifer, glad you contacted us. We'd love to work for you. Here's the link, PayPal link to deposit your non-refundable $400 does not come off of your first month's payment. It's completely non-refundable. Here's that link. As soon as you pay it, I want you to click this next link, which is a calendar link. Every Wednesday, these occur. You can get on my calendar for Wednesday. Okay. Once you do that, here are the four things we're going to discuss in your marketing console. If you want to talk about something else, let me know. Okay. I'm going to pull up something I shouldn't pull up for you guys. I know I shouldn't do this. I'm going to do it anyways. Uh, well, maybe I can't do it. Let's see. Let's bring this over here. <clears throat> then I'm going to pull up uh, a template of exactly how I sell them, what I talk about on the phone. Okay. How I convert a complete stranger into a 2000 plus dollar per month client. All right. Let me just pull this up. Once I do that, I'll continue with this thing. I just want to show you exactly what I do. I want to show you everything. I hate to see people having this problem when in my mind, this is the easiest way to make money. Hang on. Okay. Now, can I share this too? Let me see if I can share this screen share this one share. Okay. So they pay their $400. They schedule a call, right? Then this is all we talk about on the phone for 30 minutes. Usually it takes about 45 minutes. Okay. But then they're like, Oh man, he's given me an extra 15 minutes at no charge. It basically says marketing consult template. Okay. Have their name, have their date. First thing I talk about is reporting and monthly meetings. I'm establishing, uh, expectations from the very beginning. And that is, I don't do any reporting. I don't do any monthly meetings. You want to, you want to know how things are going? Give me a phone call. We'll schedule another meeting. Okay. Minimum term to cancel 30 days with notice. You must have a Gmail account to work with me. I don't update your website with case results and blogs. I don't blog for you. I'm a marketing expert only. Okay. SEO. I analyze the current online presence inside of Hrefs. Okay. Then I do an Hrefs overview showing them 
what's going on with their website, their online footprint. Then I show them how much search volume there is in their particular city for their keyword. In other words, I'm telling them, is it even going to be beneficial for you to pay me? Okay. Cause I don't want to, I don't want to take people that I'm not going to make money for. So if they're only getting 10 searches a month in podunk nowhere, it doesn't do me any good to put them on page one for that keyword. Okay. I show them their current online traffic. I show them their best rankings. Then I throw their website into Ahrefs and show them their backlink profile. Then I tell them, look, everything we've talked about so far has been about how to get traffic to your website. What we need to talk about now is how good is your website at converting internet traffic into phone calls? Why? Because this is how attorneys make money. They convert internet traffic into phone calls. And then someone at your office converts that phone call into dollars for your law firm. Okay. So now we got to talk about conversion. How well does the desktop version of your website convert internet traffic into phone calls? Now let's talk about mobile. How well does the mobile version of your website convert internet traffic into phone calls? Then I tell them, look, Google owns YouTube. You have zero YouTube videos. Then I tell them, Here's what's going on with your Google Maps listing. All the money is in Google Maps. Here's why you're not in the Maps a three pack. Then I show them what, here's what your competitors are doing. Here's the person that ranks number one, number two, and number three for your keyword. All we're going to do is recreate what they're doing. Then I say, here's what you need. You need a legitimate backlinking strategy. I show them what that looks like. You need a real content strategy. I show them what that looks like. You need YouTube integration. I show them what that looks like. You need Google map strategy. You need on page SEO. I show them what all that looks like. You need paid social media traffic. Why do you need paid social media traffic? Because of retargeting. Okay. Uh, it's the easiest win ever retargeting your current traffic with a Facebook ad. Then what do I do next? I say, here's what's going to cost you to pay, to hire me <clears throat> 2,300 a month. Plus, plus this, plus that, plus you need blog articles. Plus you need videos. If you need a web design rebuild, cause I only work with WordPress people. If you don't have a WordPress website, it's going to cost you 4,799 minimum for me to redesign your website. If you're only buying Facebook, it's going to cost this much. When can we start as soon as possible? Okay. Then I tell them, I tell them this exact thing. I say, look, a lot of times people hear this, uh, pitch, they hear this spiel, they hear the, the price and now they want to go price shopping. And then they go hire someone like local SEO doesn't know what they're doing to do their marketing. They get zero return on investment for six months. Then they come to me and they want the same price. Meanwhile, now I got to fix six months of bull crap because you hired someone that didn't know what they were doing. So in order to stop that, in order to prevent you from do doing that, I'm going to do this really embarrassing this completely embarrassing used car salesman tactic. I'm embarrassing. I'm embarrassed to even tell it to you, but I'm going to do it because I'm hoping it's going to protect you from making a big mistake from going with someone else and then coming to me after they bend you over for six months. Okay. And here it is. Okay. Here it is. My used car salesman portion. Okay. Here is my high pressure sales. 48 hour, one time offer. I basically tell them, you know, if you go deposit $500 in this PayPal account within the next 48 hours, you go deposit $500 right here within the next 48 hours. I'll do the whole thing. Everything I just mentioned for this lower price. Okay. For this lower price of, or I'll throw in the Facebook marketing for free, whatever, but you got 48 hours completely non-refundable. Okay. Uh, almost everyone that sees this sales pitch gives me money. Some people pay the $500 and never hire me. Okay. And it, and I also tell them your marketing campaign must begin within 15 days of you paying this $500. If not, you just lose it. You just lose that 500 bucks. Also, this $500 does not come off of your first month. Okay. It's just completely non-refundable opportunity for you to avail yourself of this one time offer. Okay. Now think about who's just heard this. First of all, they watched hours of me on YouTube. Okay. Then 
They paid $400 just to get me on the phone to tell them this. Now they've seen this and now for $500, they can have a complete price reduction on what they just saw. Okay. Some people pay that $500 and never become my client almost immediately and then become my client because they already, they've watched me on YouTube. They've already paid $400 just to talk to me. They know I'm an expert. I've demonstrated expertise. Okay. Now I've told you my whole funnel, my entire sales funnel. Okay. I've told you my entire sales process, how I sell over $30,000 of SEO every month without, I don't make at paid advertisements. Uh, the reason I don't do that is because I'm only one person with three assistants. I can only handle so many clients. Okay. How much money do you need to make? Do you need to make a hundred thousand dollars a month? You know, maybe, maybe not. What I'm trying to tell you is you only need to convince 10 people every month for you to make $20,000 every month. Uh, if you're really good at this, like I am, most of your clients never leave. I have clients that have been with me since day one. I have most of my clients never leave. Why would they? They're making money. Uh, you just stack income in this business. Um, if you're having trouble getting clients, it's usually for three reasons. One, you don't know anything about marketing. You need to put the time in and you go do your homework. You need to become a student of marketing. Then you can have people pay you to do their marketing. Okay. Or two, you have no content. You have no videos. You have no blogs or three, you haven't built an audience. Okay. I have a pool of lawyers all on YouTube, on LinkedIn, on Instagram, on Facebook, my e I have three email lists of lawyers. I can email all of these. I can send messages, send new content to all these people. Anytime I need a new client. Okay. I can't turn this off at this point. Um, so once again, you can't sign clients. It's for a few reasons. One, either, you know, nothing about marketing yet. You saw all those books. Oh, they're on the floor right now. I'm going to pick them up out of this video. You saw those books. All I do is study marketing, become a student of marketing or two. You have no content, meaning you're not, you have nothing that shows you're an expert. You're just a complete stranger to anyone that looks at you. Um, or three, you have no audience. You have not built an audience. What, what you're doing, instead of doing these three, what you're spending time on is you're hiding behind your computer, building backlinks, trying to rank, for worthless as my city SEO. Okay. Stop wasting your time doing that. I'm Dustin Sanchez, Dustin Sanchez TV.com. Drop a comment in the comment section. Uh, what do they also say? Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Whatevs. Talk to you later.